So hello everybody, it's Mary Fields. And I just noticed something this morning that I have to share with you all. <clears throat> it's funny what you don't realize that you don't realize what's going on because you're so used to things. <clears throat> but I've been taking this glutamus now for, I don't know, a month or so, but I've taken V for a fair amount of time, uh, like five years maybe, but not consistent not consistent as this because this is so much easier. It's called glutamist. It's a glutathione mist, sublingual, into your mouth. So here's what you do. Taste delicious. Four times in the morning. A day. I do it all at once first thing in the morning. But here's one of the things I've noticed. First of all, my husband and I sleep like absolute babies for a few weeks now. It's just amazing. No more interruption. No more tossing and turning. It's beautiful. But what I've noticed, now right now I haven't got makeup on. I'm 80 years old. I have so much sun damage. I have actinic keratosis on my forehead, which is crusty problems that I can get zapped off or just deal with them. And I wear wonderful makeup that can hide them. So it's not a serious issue for me. But what I've noticed, and this is a real true sign of anti-aging, when you're my age, past 50, you start to get little hairs on your face, maybe on your neck, maybe around here, maybe up here at the end, right? Well, what I noticed this morning, when I got up, I thought, I, you can feel them because they're bristly, right? Usually one here, or maybe on your chin. What I noticed is I don't have any. So they have disappeared from growing on my face. What else could that be? That is a true sign of anti-aging. You think? Now I'll do my makeup to hide this messy face. And by the way, my skin is getting better. I'm going to insert a picture of me before, right in a second here. And you can see how bad my, my skin was compared to what it is now. So I just want to share that with you. Have a great day. And of course, I don't want to overlook the fact that um, my knee, my meniscus knee doesn't hurt anymore when I walk. I have an arthritic toe that doesn't bother me when I walk. Um, there's things that you don't realize changing as you go along because we become so used to them. So I kind of like to tell people, make a list of all the things that bother you. Nobody would think about the hair on their face, right? So anyway, again, have a good day. Bye.